I'm nearly at the Oracle. The desire to save her comrades and brother. There? Too easy. Phoenix saw the minions of Typhon had cornered the stranger, leaving no escape. This would be her greatest battle yet. Oh, I hope the stranger dies. If I had wanted to hurt you, I could just as easily come and stab you back there. True that. So, I'm going to go. Phoenix. Unique name. Appreciate the assistance, Phoenix. Nice bracelets. Thanks. I'm on my way to the Temple of Apollo to see the Oracle. Me too. Ha! It's right over there. Oh, great. I can use all the help I can get. We should go to... Hey, where did you go? My bracers! That rotten little thief! I saved you! I know how you feel, kid. You do everything you can for them, and then they betray you. What's up with that? Who designed that entrance? A circus performer? A magician? 
I don't know. Aren't mortals wonderful? Step forward into the light. The mysteries I have to offer are as infinite as the grains of sand scattered across the floor. What is your question? Sounds legit. Oh, wise oracle. How do I reverse the curse and turn everyone back from stone? Wow. That's a real... That's a real question. I don't know. It's a mystery. <laughs> well, then, how do I get my stolen bracers back? Ah, another mystery. Yes, that's why I came to you, the Oracle. Oh, yes. Well, circling that, I'm just the priest. The Oracle here turned to stone, but the smoke here is something else. <laughs> Do you think oh. sand oh. is called sand because it's between the sea and the land? Hey, hey, that, that's, that's uh, a legitimate question. Have you seen that little guy with golden hair? No? Uh, I'm going to go. <laughs> What's so funny? You said the go twice, <laughs> but you still haven't left. My brother was turned to stone, and I can't save him. The one person I tried to help robbed me, and all you can do is laugh. Whoa! Those are all true. Are you an oracle? Oh, oh, on your way out, can you pick me up something? I'm starving! Father of your line is not father of your kin. A mountain, huh? crowned with flowing locks, is how you win. The monster shambles, hungry for immortal flaws. The true hero owns them all, stolen from the beast's jaws. With the wind herald's aid, Go on the attack, and sooner than later, change them all back. A peril of seas, forge fires lit, a wise child convinced, a feather's weight of wit. Eldest of Thetis, father overthrown, hero on high, it's time for you to come home. Whoa. Now that was a prophecy. What was? Isn't it weird how prophecy ends with I see? But in this case, I don't? Oh yeah, the whole thing about prophets not remembering Stop! what they're... Thief! You can have these bracelets back. You're going to need them where you're going. Come with me. No! Look, I'm sorry about stealing from you. It's just something I do, it's... Kind of a problem. So, we good? Not even remotely. I needed an offering for the Oracle. I thought you were a nobody, and I didn't like your face. But that's all behind us now. We have to go. Didn't like my... <sighs> Harsh. We don't have much time. He will be here soon. Who? I have just a ticket for you to make it to the mainland. Where are those wings? These? Now who's the thief? Don't look so smug. They won't fly yet anyway. You have to find the other piece. What do you mean, fly? Focus. After that, we need a jar stolen from Aeolus. Oh, it's Aeolus, the north wind. I'll go begin the preparations. Meet me at the top of the observatory with the jar. I... Uh, don't understand. You're in grave danger. 
Help me help you. Uh, okay, but about what you said earlier... And you're gone. I'm fairly certain he's Hermes. Hermes okay. has a, well, a history to figure out of how to get past that barrier. three heroes in mythology. Into the pit we go. The labyrinthine path before Phoenix seemed daunting, but the light of endless stars helped show the way. be of equal weight. Oh, I see. So this one requires twice as much weight. Because one is a feather weight, identified by the feather, and the other is a heavy weight, identified by the anvil. Clever. Yes, we now know where Kako goes to die. So that's featherweight. And this is heavyweight. Clever. I see what you're doing, Ubisoft. Restore stop here. My question is, how would I get over there?
Oh, hey. Alright. So this is nerve-wracking. Especially because I can't control what direction I'm turning. Crap. Okay. So we can make it over there, but there's a problem. We cannot properly control, like, what direction we're turning. So we have to be careful. And I overshot that. Crap. I want that treasure chest, though. the Olympian. Okay. So we get increased increased axe uh, damage. Honestly, getting back was way easier than getting over there. But, yeah, I'm happy to have gotten an item from this. Okay. So now we need to hop on over through here. We're like an hour and a half into this game and we're still like in the tutorial. So it's literally like Breath of the Wild, only by Ubisoft. Okay. Okay, so we got uh, one of these kind of puzzles. So it's exactly like Breath of the Wild. All right, let's see what uh, things are over here. Nothing, so I have to do whatever this is. Okay. Oh, okay. Uh, this is one of those, uh, dragging sort of things that we have to do. go. Exactly like Breath of the Wild. Or maybe I should change the stream title to like Breath of the Wild by Ubisoft. I, I think I might upset some people if I do that though. As Phoenix traveled through the underworld, her thoughts turned toward her mother and father. Were they safe in Argos? Had they too been transformed? Forged, Phoenix couldn't help. A mother. huge monster appears! 
Dang it, Zeus. It's ginormous, but Phoenix just laughed. No! So you want to dance, huh? <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh, it's perfect. The adorable monster was ever so playful. Everything she had prayed for to take her mind off her worries. It was a gift from Olympus. She would treasure forever, deep within her vulnerable, yet ever expanding. Ah, fine, have it your way. Just don't make me vomit. Phoenix faced the monster, ready. The monster attacked. <laughs> This appeared. Wait, it was uh, in the when Odyssey. When said this was Aeolus's jar, I thought it would be a jar with the God of Winds on it, not in it. This little thing can't contain the wind. That's impossible. In the mist, though, it was a bag. So, whatever. Go back and fly through the pit. Go we'll fly up out through the pit and uh, head back up to the uh, surface world to uh, the peninsula. <laughs> Off to the Peloponnesian Peninsula. <laughs> Now we need to go to the observatory. So I guess we just go up, upwards, up there, and fight whatever monsters we have to fight. If Phoenix looked at the top of the observatory tower, the planetaria could be seen. Planetary Hubiwati? Uh, it depicts the orbit of planets, and... You know what? Never mind.
Alright, so that is Hermes. So, I am under the impression that the guy we were dealing with was actually the mortal form of Hermes. Or something like it. The wall is crumbling. I wonder if there's a way to break through it. I'm not sure what this is supposed to do, but it seems important. So I theorize if we bring it to the statue thing we saw earlier, we could do some sort of funky thing. So let's do that. Because obviously a spear could probably fit on top of whatever this thing is. Or not. So we'll just go around. I mean, I got hours to explore this game. I can pretty much do whatever. Probably something behind the temple that this could be used in. do anything there. So I guess we'll just have to, uh, keep going. Oh, okay, so we... Uh... continued her journey. She couldn't help but wonder if her story would one day be told amongst the stars. Hermes always yes. says, the stars yeah. tell stories, but I don't get it. It's like I can't read. Somehow that doesn't surprise me. Looks like I'll need to solve this to get to the missing wing piece. You can't solve the stars. The stars solve you. At least that's what a seer named Miss Clear once told me. And I won't tell you what happened after that. But those stars were bright. She stole your money. She did, yes. 
But I turned her into a juniper berry. So overall, ah! not a bad night. Exactly what I must do. And I miss. This one will uh, go right here. So we need two more. We can press this to uh, open that. And just to be sure we aren't missing anything, nope. Hold on a moment. two of them and this one needs to go over here and we got the final one right over here there we go the Golden Isle, in remembrance of my greatest success and my greatest failure. May the gods accept my offering. May I see you again. Icarus. And these are the great Daedalus' wings! He must have built everything here too! All these temples! I can't imagine losing a son like that. What it does to you. The wing piece recovered, and Aeolus' jar back from Tartaros. Now, to find that stranger at the top of the observatory. <clears throat> what? I didn't kill a cross! Daedalus' faulty wings did that! And where is Daedalus now? 
I see. Silence. I'm sure Phoenix will find out eventually. And I know I'm, I've taken the entire wrong way to get up over here, but whatever. There's nothing wrong with bypassing a couple things. Now let's look for something I can grab. Can I manipulate anything over here? Oh, I can knock that down with, uh... So I have to, uh... Now, what is it I am supposed to uh, do over here? <gasps> nope, I missed. This a light. And I have to uh, get it at just the right angle, otherwise it doesn't work. There we go. Always hunting for treasure. Valor of the so Soldier Helm. Let's see here. Valor of the Soldier Helm. 10% damage with sword, 10% damage with axe. Uh, I think I'll take the axe damage first. And let's grab the uh, treasure up here. Valor of the Soldier Breastplate. It's the stamina chunks. We're preparing something. Yeah, preparing for you to return. You got the wings? Yes. Hey, not really good as new. What is? Something new? You have the jar, right? Get ready to open it. What is that? You deceitful thief! You thought you could escape me? I told you, it's a problem! Three delivery boys! 
You do not deserve the crown you were given. We'll take you down, Typhon! Just like before! We? <laughs> there is no we! Not anymore! Phoenix! Now! So he is Hermes. Okay, we need to get to safety. Stat. What was that monster? Typhon. Not the Typhon. Oh, you have no idea. Gotta get to the Hall of the Gods, then we can talk. You ready to fly? These were Daedalus' wings. The Daedalus? The great inventor? So? So they didn't work right and killed his son. You'll be fine. Just don't fly too close to Helios. And also don't try to go to the bathroom during turbulence. You should make it to the mainland without crashing. Probably. Probably. Oh, that... You literally robbed me, and now you're saving me. Why? I didn't follow most of what the Oracle ran through. But if the prophecy is on the money, hero on high, you're the only one who can stop Typhon from remaking the world. We don't even know if it's about me. For someone trying to help everyone right and left, maybe you should accept help once in a while. What are you talking about? Fate's alive. How is the Winged Herald supposed to provide aid when you won't let me? With the Winged Herald's aid? Wait, Winged Herald? No way! You are... Hermes, I like telling half-truths, playing tricks, and taking long runs on the beach. Now, can we go, please? The other gods need our help. Other gods? You mean all the stories are real? Something's wrong with your face. It's doing that slack jawed thing again. Fly to the Golden Isle. Meet me at the Hall of the Gods. I'll be waiting. And with that, Hermes disappeared. Phoenix gazed across the narrow band of sea at the peaks and valleys of the Golden Isle ahead. The long path to her true destiny lay nope, stretched that out ends the tutorial. Wait! That was just a prologue. How does it take someone that long to begin a story? Odysseus made it home faster. She's about to jump. Be quiet and listen. in a rather nice looking place. this treasure chest. Oh. 
Forbidden Labras. Alright, let's uh, check this out here. Not really feeling it. So can I, uh, okay, so we can in fact fast travel. So if I feel like exploring later, I can do that. So there's available skins. So, while technically I could, uh, do all this, uh, Yeah, I'm not willing to pay for the season pass at the moment. Yeah, the, this is not worth the money. Uh, at least the uh, add-ons. Like, I will play the base game and only the base game. So hold plus uh, reset. Oh, all of the dead. Dead soldiers. Bears. Lots of enemies around here. I guess we'll just stick with the story until we get to a point where we actually have to explore things. Discovered a Hall of the Gods. And since we don't level up or anything in this game outside of, like, finding equipment, there's really no point in, like, actively fighting enemies at the moment.
Oh god, those voice lines. We live for battle and extra virgin uh, olive oil. Oh man, that's great. It's the little things that make this game worth playing. I may be only one one thousandth of a god, but I am one hundred percent lonely. As a demigod, I feel personally attacked by Typho. Yeah, some of these lines from these guys are freaking great. As a demigod, I feel personally attacked by Typho. Yeah, you should. Yeah, it seems to me like I'm just gonna have to climb. Back to playing the climbing game. Just like in Genshin and, uh, Breath of the Wild. I just can't seem to escape from climbing simulator. I've gone through all my stamina, so I'm out of luck there. I was wondering if it would have been easier just for me to, uh, Yeah, so, I, either way, we have to find a way up there. Like, welcome to Climbing Simulator, uh, Ubisoft Edition. And I'm fairly certain falling into the pit there is insta-death. Getting the hang of the movement system. Alright, so I go from there to there to there and up there. At least now I know what I'm doing. Like, there's a process you have to follow. Let's 
let's uh, make sure to grab these while we're over here. Alright, so we head up this side. There we go. And this is the Hall of the Gods. The sight of the Great Hall took Phoenix's breath away. This is... incredible! Yeah, the Greeks certainly did like their open-air structures. It's alright. Could use some updating. The color motif is a bit played out. So, we're safe here. Remember that thing I stole from Typhon? It was an itty-bitty piece of his eye to hide this place from his terrifying gaze. You're welcome. You said this is the Hall of the Gods. Well, where are the others? Let me start from the beginning. With his hand on Phoenix's shoulder, Hermes recounted the tale of Typhon, destroyer of gods. Typhon, born of Gaia, was a terrible, cruel beast who vowed to free the Titans and obliterate the gods. He challenged Zeus for the rule of the cosmos. Fortunately, Typhon was the Damn straight he was! And imprisoned under a mountain, where he could do no more harm. I got to get back into that kind of shape again. For thousands of years, Typhon festered, until Helios was eclipsed, and burning stars fell from the heavens. The stars burnt through Typhon's chain, and in an explosion of fire and smoke, Typhon burst from the mountain. The gods had wronged and tortured him. Never again, he vowed. This world will be cleansed. The gods will pay. And so, Typhon sought his revenge. Destroy the veil that separates this hallowed land from the underworld. Let Tartarus walk among the gods! Trouble, devour, and turn this life-called god to dust! Come, Olympians! Brandish your weapons and face me! You have underestimated my power and work in your hubris! Bow to my unseatable perfection! Some gods fled in fear. Others stayed to fight. Many were captured. Typhon split them apart, cleaving their essences from them and transforming them irrevocably. In the final desperate attempt to save their lands, the gods called on the heroes of old, the last warriors who had more than a few drops of god's blood remaining in their veins. <laughs> Weak and selfish, your heroes will exist as shadows of their former selves, serving me forever! The gods had failed, and so had the heroes. But just when all hope seemed lost, So yeah, a lot of fighting and losing, and now you are our only remaining hope to restore these lands to their former glory and save the world from chaos. All we have, Phoenix, is you. No pressure. 
I kind of lost track of who's who. Is that one with the spiky hair you or Python? Forget it. The vanquished gods need to be reunited with their severed essences to regain their power. And then, together, you must defeat Typhon. This is honestly a lot. I wish my brother was here. Look, kid, I'm not perfect. I'm the guy who escorted Pandora to Earth for Zeus's sake. But maybe, just maybe, you're the right hero at the right time. Also, you're literally all we've got, seeing as how everyone else has been defeated. Good luck! I'll be right here, doing nothing. <clears throat> I mean, beginning preparations. Thanks. I think. Oh, there's that face again. Fine. Your best starting point is to reach the top of the other statues on the Golden Isle, so you can track the missing gods. Find them, and they should be able to help you locate their stolen essences. Although... they haven't been themselves, so I'm really not sure. Um... what's that mean? Guess you'll find out. Hermes being helpful, but also not helpful. Very in character for him. Phoenix, think. What would my brother do? Legiron would probably take on Typhon single-handedly. Ah, there's that wonderful smell again. Ambrosia is life. You want increased protection? Distill it here and drink up. Then, enjoy the ride. One time, Athena downed that whole Kelex and destroyed the entire Greek fleet right after she had sided with them in battle. It was epic. Sounds hilarious. Sorry. Guess you just had to be there. Many of my relatives were. They died. And I told Athena not to do that. But did she listen? No. So this is where I would upgrade my stamina. This is where you train? Oh gods, no. What a waste of me time. Just cheat using Zeus's lightning to enhance your muscles and stamina. That's what I do. You're an inspiration. I get that a lot. Yeah, I mean, <laughs> not wrong. What's this? Not sure. Hades had it delivered. Deposit an offering for the ferryman, and unexpected help could very well arrive. Be careful, though. Argo broke the last gift from the underworld, and look what happened to him. Who's Argo? Exactly. get their dental exams? No, it's where we rip off our skin to change our appearance. Ouch. Huh. Still better than visiting the dentist. Quite possibly not wrong. Those are a few ideas for ways to stick it to Typhon. You mortals seem to need an incentive, so I'll pay you Electrum for accomplishing each. And since I'm the god of merchandise, you can spend it right here on, you guessed it, merchandise. Ooh, creative. Or you could always just pay me your own Electrum. I thought the incentive was for me. I'm the god of financial gain. Those prices. Wow. I'm also the god of thieves. We all have our vices. What's that underneath? It's a chore chart. Someone has to get Ares to clean up after himself. Ever tried to get blood out of a sea of blood? Now that is a feat. Uh, 
I'm here selling if you're buying. I figure we'll finish taking a look at these and then I'll call it a session. Nice for, cauldron! Uh, Phoenix uh, let the empty compliment die in the ensuing silence and instead tried to focus on potential potion recipes. And this is for the forge, I guess. Oh! Is this Hephaestus' forge? You're cute. Try not to impale yourself on anything. But Phoenix wasn't listening. She was drawn to the forge by a hidden force. The Aramantine she'd gathered, calling out to be reshaped. Capacity upgraded. Booyah. Alright, I guess that's it for the haul. Uh, I guess I'll t try to see what changing my appearance does. Oh, so I can literally just change gender and everything at any given time. So gender literally doesn't matter outside of voice lines in this game. Got it. So let's go ahead and save. Let's uh, end off the session on YouTube here.